Ashiatsu, we're going to work on the legs a little bit here. I do long full body strokes, which is not something that um, was taught when I was in school, but I certainly improvise and uh, work in the calves and the hamstrings here, as you can see. And as far as the calves go, we can really put a lot of pressure on them with Ashiatsu. Um, I will oftentimes pin the foot down here with my heel, as you see, and then I can work a little deeper in her calves and provide a little bit of a stretch also. And I'll also stretch a person's calves when I'm up here. I'll do a little bit of traction and calf stretch. And I'll climb all over the table, whatever it takes to get the work done. How's that feel, Karen? Good. We got a deep enough stretch in there, or we need mm -hmm. to go a little deeper. Oh, that's good. Okay. So a little more traction, stretch that calf out, provide some pressure. And the finishing strokes that I do with Oshiatsu are always deeper towards the heart. And force everything back up towards the heart. So the drag strokes back are pretty slow, pretty light, but going forwards towards the heart, they're a lot deeper. A lot of people have hamstring issues, and Ashiatsu is a fantastic opportunity to really, really work those hamstrings. I can put a lot of pressure in there, however, using the bars, I can also adjust. I often do a quad stretch with people. I'll grab their foot, a little bit of work in their QL and low back here while I'm doing a quad stretch, and then traction again. Ah, 